Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is extend the work that we've been doing with integration of hyperbolic functions. And we're going to be looking at types like this, where we've got, say, cosh x multiplied with shine of x to the power n, or shine x times cosh x to the power n. We're integrating them with respect to x. Now, n is an integer, but it cannot equal negative 1 for this to work. And I've got these four examples here that fall into this category. Now, if you're coming to this just for revision, then you might like to uh, pause the video. And when you come back, fast forward to check your answers. Otherwise, I'm going to take you slowly through these methods. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget, fast forward if you want to check your working against mine. All right, but I'm going to take you slowly through these. Now, they all have this particular form. All right, this form of an integral you should be familiar with. That is that if you've got f of x to the power n, and you notice that it's multiplied by the first differential of f of x, then it turns out to be f of x to the power n plus 1 all over n plus 1 plus a constant of integration, c. Now, this is the inverse of the chain rule. I'm going to be taking you through these uh, types now, OK? And we'll put a little bit of extra working in to hopefully guide you through this. So if you've got this one here, cosh x shines to the power 4x, with this integrated with respect to x, then you can see that if we let f of x be shine x, n as being the power 4, you'll notice that if you differentiate shine x, you've got cosh x. So this definitely falls into this pattern here. So if we follow this method here, then it's going to be f of x, which was shine x, raised to the power n plus 1. So it's going to be raised to the power 5 and divided by 4 plus 1, which is 5. So you're going to get this answer, 1 fifth shine to the power 5 of x, plus that constant of integration c. Now, what I'm doing now is just showing you why this works, OK? You might like to see it from the point of view of the chain rule. And that is if y equals shine to the power 5x and we let t equal shine x, then it follows that y would be equal to t to the power 5. And using the chain rule dy dx equals dy dt times dt dx, then for dy by dt, it's going to be 5t to the power 4. OK, and then we multiply it by the differential of what we called t, which in this case, the differential of shine x is cosh x for dt by dx. OK, and then substituting back for t as shine x, you're going to get 5 shine to the power 4 of x times cosh x. Now, can you see that if we took our function f of x, which was shine x, OK, up here, all right, we took shine x for f of x, then we added 1 to the power and divided by that power. So by dividing by 5, we would eliminate that 5 there, and that gives us that 1 fifth at the front. So I hope that gives you an idea why this is working. OK, so you might want to pause the video at this stage and just have a go at this one if you... Uh, are new to this, all right? OK, well, let's just take you through this now anyway. For this one, you'll notice that I've just put a number at the front of this expression here, the 6. And I've also rewritten it in the opposite way, OK? Rather than starting with shine x times cosh squared x, obviously it doesn't make any difference. It still essentially has this form. So what would we do? Well, f of x is cosh of x. I notice that if I differentiate cosh x, I get shine x. And cosh x is raised to a power, 
2 in this case. So following this system here, it must be cosh x raised to the power 3. I add 1 to that. And I divide by 3. So it's going to be 6 over 3 cosh cubed x plus a constant of integration. That's what we get. But then obviously 6 divided by 3 gives us the 2 there. 2 cosh cubed x plus c. So I hope you got that if you had a go. And just to show you how it works when it comes to working with differentiating cos cubed x, we'd let t equal cos x, that means y would be t cubed. Using the chain rule again, we get dy by dt is 3t squared, and then we would times that by dt by dx. Differential of cos x is shine x. Substitute our values back in, and you get 3 cos squared x shine x. So can you see that we would need to multiply this result by 2 in order to bring it up to this result here, 6 cos squared x shine x. All right. So hopefully those two ideas tie together for you. Just another way of looking at it. OK, let's get on with the next example. So here we've got to integrate cosh to the power 7 of 3x, shine 3x with respect to x. So in order to do this, it's got this kind of look again, OK? And we can see that this time f of x is cosh 3x, n is 7, and we can see that if we differentiate cosh 3x, we basically get shine 3x. In fact, we would get 3 shine 3x, but that's a constant 3 times shine 3x. OK, so we can make adjustments for that later on. OK, so we know then that this has got to basically be cosh 3x to the power 8 over 8. But we have got this 3x here instead of x. So when it comes to differentiating, remember, cosh 3x, we would use the chain rule, and that would give us 3 shine 3x. And we don't want that 3, so we'd have to divide it out. OK, so this is what we're going to get. We're going to get all of cosh 3x to the power 8. OK, we divide by that power, 8, and we divide by the 3 that we would have created when it comes We're going to from get differentiating all of cosh, cosh 3x, 3x. We would have to got the three power shine 8. 3x instead of just shine 3x. So I've divided it out there. And that gives us 1 24th cosh to the power 8 of 3x plus that constant of integration c. Or you can do it another way just by starting off with all of cosh 3x to the power 8. And then if you use the chain rule where t equals cosh 3x, y would be t to the power 8. Using that chain rule here then, dy by dt is going to be 8t to the power 7. All right. Differential of cosh 3x by the chain rule would be 3 shine 3x. So when this is cleaned up, you're going to get the 8 times the 3 is the 24, cosh to the power 7 of 3x, and shine 3x. And can you see then that when it comes to integrating this, there wasn't a 24 in front of it, but by differentiating cosh to the power 8 of 3x, we got that 24, so we'd need to divide by 24. 1 24th of cosh 8 to the power 3x would just give us cosh to power 7 3x shine 3x all right so hope that helps right now we got this last one here which at first looks different to this type here until you realize that i can bring the shine cubed 5x up to the top right and make it a negative power so rewriting that again you're going to get this okay i pulled the 4 out the front so we get cosh 5x shine to the power minus 3 of 5x all right and that's integrated with respect to x so this time we can see that if we let f of x be shine 5x it's the power minus 3 so n is minus 3 but differentiating shine 5x would give you 
5 cosh 5x. Five so ignoring the constant 5, we basically get that differential at the front. So using our formula, adding 1 to the power here, okay, is going to be shine of 5x to the power negative 2. But then we're going to need to make an adjustment. We need to divide by minus 2. And remember, in differentiating shine 5x, we got 5 cosh 5x, that extra 5. So we'd need to divide that out as well. All right, so this is what you're going to get. You should find that you have your 4. And then my new power, minus 2, I divided by minus 2. But because we created that extra 5 from differentiating shine 5x, giving us 5 cosh 5x, I've divided that out. So we just need to clean this up. And if you do that, you're going to get this result. Minus 2 all over 5 shine squared 5x plus that constant of integration. And again, just in case you want to look at it in a different way, if I take my shine of 5x, but raise it to an extra power, add 1 to it, shine 5x to the power minus 2. When I come to differentiate this by the chain rule, t being shine 5x, y being t to the minus 2, using the chain rule here, you can see dy dt is minus 2t to the power minus 3 times dt dx, which is going to be 5 cosh 5x when you differentiate that, okay? So I've written it as cosh 5x times 5. That comes to minus 10 cosh 5x all over shine cubed 5x. And so when I compare these two answers, if I was to get this result here, I'd have to times this 10 by negative 2 fifths, okay? Negative 2 fifths times minus 10 would give me 4 cosh 5x over shine cube 5x. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this video. If you had a go and got them all right, well done. If not, hopefully you've been able to see your way through this type of question. So do give us a like if you found this useful. And don't forget, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be notified whenever I make videos. Okay, so hopefully see you again in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.